Greetings. It is I, the Great One himself, Cynical Libertarian Society, C-Y-N-L-I-B-S-O-C.com on the interwebs. Ten years of podcasting. Ten fucking years of podcasting. So, yeah, fuck you. I'm putzing around here. I'm making some hot tea right now. And I just, this is, again, one of those moments. Just grab the recorder and talk. I was talking to this guy the other day, and this... It, UFOs came up because he saw a UFO picture, I whatever. And the point is, dude, dude, UFO, you believe in UFOs, man? Do I believe that there are intelligent beings on other planets? Yeah, it's pretty likely. Do they have space flight capabilities? Quite possibly. I mean, we would, we should. We went to the moon, then we gave up. We, I mean, you know, the government of the United States. Because, of course, traveling to space is a threat to the state, and so the state put the nicks on that, put the kibosh on that. Are aliens coming to the planet Earth and flying around in their little flying saucers? mutilating cattle and drawing circles and crops. No. No. No, you fucking dumb, stoned, hippie moron. There are no fucking UFOs in the sense that you're talking about. By the way, I know I've mentioned this before, but I'm just going to throw it out again. Have you noticed how right, UFO or what do you call it, alien abductions. Used to happen on a pretty regular basis. Remember all these people be showing, I was abducted by aliens. I was abducted by aliens. I was abducted by aliens. You ever notice how now that everybody has a high definition video camera in their pocket, you notice how the alien abductions just stopped? Ever since smartphones with high-definition video cameras appeared on the scene, there has not been a single fucking alien abduction. Isn't that interesting? But anyhow, as this topic of UFOs came up, and I'm sitting here and I'm just thinking about this, because this is the kind of shit I sit around and think about. You know, that and how much I hate you fucking statist. <sighs> And what a crisis it is that there are more men on Twitter than women, even though the fact that there's more women on Facebook than men is not a crisis because, of course, feminist book is basically for women. Anyway, I ranted about that last time. You should have already listened to that. The common theme in all of the inferior people that we are surrounded by is that they want someone else to appear and magically fix their problems. They want someone else to provide for them. They want to be children and they want to have parents. You know, Stefan Molyneux alludes to this all the time when he says, you know, statists are like children in the sense that, you know, when you're a child, you have these parents and the parents just from the, from the perspective of the child, the parents just magically provide things, right? As a child, you don't really understand the concept of money, economics, production, consumption, resources. Also, you just know that You know, your parents leave for a while, they come back, they go to the store, they bring things, they take you out, they get a toy. You you know, you see some stuff moving back and forth, and then you have a toy. And so, from the perspective of a small child, this is like magic. There's no understanding. And this is what all of these people want. Left-wing statists want the government to fulfill this role of magical entity that provides things from nowhere, right? Obama is going to just give everybody free college. It's just going to be free. He's just going to give it to you, right? Like that free health care you just received. It's just going to be free college. 
I can see. Oh, God, I can fucking see this. I'm, I am brilliant. You, you fucking, oh, you, you are so lucky that the, right now, this, it just happened. My brain, it's brilliant. This is. Okay, you know how we now have a law that says you have to buy health care? And if you don't buy health care, you have to pay a fine? Right here, official prediction. You know what? I don't think this is an official prediction. I don't think it's going to happen, but I think it could happen. I could foresee the possibility because everybody's bought into this shit that you have to have health care. You have to have health care. You have to buy health care, right? And now we've got this push for education, education, education. So important. I could foresee the government passing a law that says you have to go to college and get a diploma. And if you don't get a college diploma, you have to pay additional taxes. I mean, why not? It's for your own good, right? It's just like the fucking health care. The whole health care thing is that it's going to give you free health care and you're going to be healthier. Well, if the government gives you free college and it's going to make you better, why would they not force that upon people just like they forced health care upon you? I'm the one who said it. So how long ago did I start talking about this? This is the this is this is one of the beginnings. Of the end. I mean, this is opening the door for the government to force people to buy things from private companies and private corporations. I'm telling you, when the Republicans get a hold of this, you stupid fucker, well, you're not going to regret it because you're too fucking stupid to regret it. This can only go south. I'm telling you, I can see it. You will be forced to go to college. And if you don't have a college diploma, you're going to have to pay extra taxes. Just like you're forced to buy health care. And if you don't buy it, you have to pay extra taxes. I can see this happening. I don't want to make it an official prediction. Because I, I, I don't think it's a 100% certainty, like Hillary Clinton being the next president of the United States, unless she drops dead. Even then, she might still win, considering who the who are the Republicans going to fucking run. I mean, a, a dead Hillary Clinton could probably beat whomever the Republicans dredge up. Prediction. If Hillary Clinton dies before the, what would it be, 2016 presidential election, if Hillary Clinton dies before 2016 presidential election, she will still beat the Republican candidate. That is an official prediction. You can take that to the bank. <laughs> Especially since the bank will be bailed out by Obama if it happens to fail. <laughs> All right. So anyway, left-wing statists want the government to play this role of parent to provide things to them without them needing to understand where things come from things like health care right wing statist they want the government to be the parent to a limited degree but ultimately they want god to be the parent or they want society to be the parent right well god will provide if god will provide why the fuck are you poor if god will provide why the fuck are you sick And of course, people who believe in shit like UFOs are, are mostly left wingers. But the thing is, it's the same concept. They're saying, well, because they desperately want to believe that there are these aliens out there who are so much smarter than us, and they're going to come to Earth and teach us their ways. And oh, we're all going to have this big dope smoking hippie, peace out, love in, fucking the aliens will provide for us with their replicators and we'll never, you know, want for anything again. Oh, fuck. UFO wackos are like statists on steroids. I mean, it's one thing to believe that the government is going to give you free shit because the government does give a lot of people free shit. It just takes away from other people. 
And it's one thing to believe that there's an invisible man living in the sky. And the invisible man, he'll give you free shit. You just have to ask. You just have to pray a bunch. It's like Santa Claus, right? I mean, you can understand why people believe in God. They grow up believing in Santa Claus for so many years because their parents lie to them. UFO wackos. It, that's all it is. They're statist on steroids. They want these aliens to come here. Every, every, every statist out there just wants somebody else to provide for them. And why is this? Hmm, I don't know. Did I, I wonder if I did a four-part podcast talking about how the main motivation of statism is fear. I wonder if I did that. Did I do that? I did do that. If you go to the YouTube channel, it's up there as the featured video. I'm like falling over sideways and shit as I'm recording this. Yeah, statist. Terribly, terribly, terribly fucking afraid that they'll have to provide something for themselves because they know they cannot provide anything for themselves.